spraying a slurry of modified clay to clear up the phosphorus green water. Clay off. We spray the clay across the water as, as evenly as it's like a rain as we can, and as the clay settles through the water, it then uh, takes the phosphate with it, and then the algae can't survive. A nutrient is added to the clay so that it binds with the phosphorus from agricultural or residential fertiliser runoff into waterways. It um, locks up the phosphorus as it mixes with the water, so algae can't access this phosphorus, it's locked up within the clay. The algae can't feed off the phosphorus and create harmful algal blooms. They lead to low oxygen concentrations in the water and could potentially have consequences such as fish, fish kills. Results from a trial in a nutrient-rich water channel that runs into a tributary of the Peel Harvey estuary were extremely promising. We achieved 95% phosphorus reduction, which is astonishing. And we've done it in, in different rivers in through the southwest and some of them we've seen at the bottom two days later where the water goes clear. Now they're testing the clay in a more closed water environment. So the stability is pretty high, so it's pH. A small, badly impacted lake next to residential properties. The amount that we're applying now should be sufficient to lock up a lot of the phosphorus. Right, Refining the dosages and application methods. I think they're all, they're all for, for chlorophyll. chlorophyll. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because you can't get any nutrients through them anyway. Yeah. The researchers will keep testing the clay in different water bodies and if it continues to be successful they hope to be able to roll it out broadly to improve water quality across Australia. Nick Perpich, ABC News.